Hi, I'm Carolyn from the Apparel Academy, and today we're talking to Courtney. I'm Courtney, I'm the lead pattern engineer here at Clothier Design Source, and I'm here today to talk to you about 3D. Awesome. So uh, you're able to work in both Optitex 3D and Clo. Um, do you find that they help you um, clarify fit prior to doing some cut and sew prototypes? Yeah, so both programs are great because we can take our 2D pattern, which we already create in OptiTex, and we can put it on top of an avatar, which has custom measurements, and then we can add fabric properties and stitch it up as if it were a actual sewn prototype. Awesome. So when, when you stitch it up, are you st stitching it onto uh, an avatar or a croquis, or is it just a solid form? Yeah, so there are a couple different options. So there are digital avatars that we can have. Both programs have customizable measurements. So we can, you know, customize pretty much anything as if it's a real person. We can adjust the measurement of the bust, waist, hip. We can make them tall, make them short. Um, the cool part about Clo is that it does have a ton of already preset avatars in the program. And so those are based off of ASTM measurements. And so they have men's, women's, children's, petite, curvy, kind of the whole range that you would need if so that we don't have to create a custom avatar every single time. Awesome. That is really cool um, and great to hear. So are you able to show us some examples? Please? Yeah, yeah, sure. Them? Yes. My screen here. So this is the CLO program. So I have my 3D avatar in here and he is a men's size 44. And then I have a size large bike jersey. So this is the 2D pattern on this side. So I have a bike jersey and then I also have a pair of shorts in here. The nice part about CLO is that it's really easy to have multiple garments. And so I can kind of make a whole outfit instead of just doing one garment at a time. And so I'll show you in Optitex, this is the 2D pattern that we created for this bike jersey. So then I can just upload it into Clo, and then each of these pattern pieces, I tell them where to go on this model. So you know, I tell the back piece here to go to the back, sleeves to go to the arms, um, and things like that. And then I can add all these lines that you see here. These are the stitch lines. So I tell which piece to sew to which, and then I can tell the pieces to sew up so I can do different stitch types. You know, there's flat lock, serge, single needle. I can insert those properties so that it acts just like the actual machine that we're using. And then I will tell it to sew up over here. So I'll join all of those seams that I told where to go. And then I can change his pose to. So you can see that it looks like a bike jersey. You can see here that you can add elastic. So I added elastic in the top of the pocket here. You can see it gathering in. And then, you know, we have some cover stitch top stitching here, some single needle top stitching between the pocket bags. And so I've already entered the fabric properties. This would be you know, like a stretch jersey material. And that's what it looks like on our guy. That is so exciting. Are you able to apply any pattern changes um, or actually print changes um, as well as any like uh, placed details like a logo? Yeah, so Clo is really cool because it has this colorway mode so you can see all of your different colorways side by side. So I have two different examples here of a sublimation print. So typically sublimation prints, you can make them really customized. You can print something specific on one sleeve and then something different on the other sleeve. And so then in the program, it's really easy to put the pattern pieces with their coordinating print. And then this is awesome because you can see how the different pieces are gonna work together on the actual garment. Sometimes it's hard to tell if you actually like the scale of a print until it's on a body. So in here, I can easily make the print smaller, bigger, 
move logos around so that you can really customize exactly how you want it to be before you even use any fabric. Awesome, so that really saves time and money for the people who are developing their product. Yeah, exactly. Great. Um, and I could you zoom in on the flat lock stitching at the on the short? I think that's really interesting that it's able to do so do that. Yeah. So we can get some really accurate stitching on here. So this is a flat lock, and then you know, we have some cover stitch stitching. And actually, on the back of this too, it actually looks like a real cover stitch, which is pretty cool. So even if I take the avatar out of here. You won't be able to see it on this one, but if you could see the back of the hem, you could see the back of the cover stitch. So it's really realistic. Awesome. And are you able to like further render these? Yeah, so Clo has a super awesome option that you can render images and you know change the lighting and just make them look realistic too how they would. So these are the rendered images of these bike jerseys. So you can see there's just a little bit more detail um, in the avatar and in the clothes themselves. So it almost looks like a real person. And you know you can further edit it even more to make it look really realistic. Awesome. Now is this something that you would do, well would, would you 3D prototype the item pr prior to cutting and sewing at the start of the prototype process, or would you do it after? So the great thing is we can do it for both. Um, in the beginning, it's great to show a first example of a design board or you know, any sort of inspiration on how it's actually gonna look because we are using the actual pattern pieces. So we can pattern a whole prototype and do a 3D prototype before materials are even ordered. As long as we have an idea of the type of material and the type of trims that you're going to be using, we can create a 3D prototype. And then that way, you know, you can change your mind. You can decide if you want the sleeves shorter, if you want the length a little bit longer, if you want it to fit a little bit more relaxed, fit a little bit more compressive. We can make all of those changes before we cut anything out of actual fabric. So it saves a lot of time and money because you can see it virtually before you see a physical one. And then on the end, once everything is finalized, you have a final prototype, we can use this to create images for marketing. So you can use it for your website. Um, you know, these images here, we can take the avatar out if you want and just have close up images of the garment and you know, it's easy to show all your different colorways without having to order your materials in all the different colors. So it's really great to use at the beginning and the end. Perfect. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today. Um, it's been really informative. Thanks for having me.